Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy to be here again today with you guys. Um, uh, today, the word that the Lord is giving me is like really powerful. It comes from the book of uh, Second Peter, is uh, one five through eleven, and it says, "Faith ladder of virtue, faith ladder of virtue," and it's coming from the. Um, from the Passion Translation, and uh, this is very, very powerful. And uh, we really need to meditate in this word because uh, it, it's gonna really touch us and it's gonna change us and it's gonna do something inside our hearts Then it's gonna be transforming us from the inside out. And uh, it's, it's, it's just, when when we meditate in the word of God, it's, it's like change occurs inside of us. It's something shifts inside of us. Because he's the word. He really touches us in a way that we don't even can explain it. Um, so I'm going to start uh, praying and I'm going to seal this word that he's giving me today. And uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, I seal this word, Lord. I seal every single one of those at the sound of my voice with the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb is covering us completely, Lord, from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet, Father. And we thank you for that blood. We thank you for that sacrifice of the cross. We thank you for everything that you are doing, Lord, because you are giving us revelation. You are opening up the eyes of those that are blind, Lord, opening up the ears of those that they are deaf, that they can not hear you, Lord. Father, unveil every truth into every single one of them at the sound of my voice lord prepare their heart for this word that they will take root inside of them and they will become doers of the word not just to listen to the word but they become doers of the word in the name of jesus let your children arise let your children arise and become doers of your word. So we'll be making an army of warriors upon this earth, Lord, that they will arise against any circumstances, that they will be planted upon rivers of living water. And we will not, we will not bow down to anything but only to Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let us have perseverance, Lord. I lose the spirit of perseverance, the spirit of the strength, everything that you are lacking, that the Lord will come inside of you with a down law from the kingdom of heaven and overflow you, overflow you with rivers of living water and the, <laughs> and the fullness of his kingdom upon your life. Filling you up with a strength, with truth, with light, with perseverance, with his virtues, with the sounds of heaven, that, that you will be walking totally and completely in him and only in him, not in you not in others, but in him. This is a time of consecration. This is a time of seeking his face. This is a time that we need to be totally, totally, totally seeking him, seeking him, listening to his voice and finding his face. Seek his face. He will show it to you and he will overflow his goodness upon your heart and he will fill you completely. The same way that he has done with my life. I bless you today. And I glorify his holy name. And I'm going to be crying because the spirit of God is just all over me. And I really ask the Lord that he will feel you the same way that he's feeling me. That he will touch you the same way that he's touching me. And that your life will be totally changed and transformed in the name of Jesus. This is a very powerful word and I'm going to go straight into the word. And it's a faith ladder of virtue. First, I want to say to you, what is virtue? Virtue is moral excellence. And we don't speak about these things anymore. These things are like getting old. Let's, but but in, in, in reality, we as Christians, they need to walk in all of these values. That we don't hear them anymore but they are very important because we need to be different. We cannot, the word says that we can be in the world, but not of the world. We have to be different. We need to make a difference in people's life. We cannot reach people for Christ and be just like them. We need to make a difference so they see what God has done in our life and where he took us from. 
So virtue is a moral excellence, is goodness, is righteousness, is a conduct to moral and ethical principles, is rectitude. That's what virtue is. And as Christians, we have to work with virtue inside of us. We have to have a walk of righteousness. We, have, we are the righteousness of God in Christ, the word says. And we really have to walk that way. We cannot be stumbling or having a double-mindedness and going back and forth on things. We have to be planted by rivers of living waters. We have to be planted by his word. We have to be planted with virtue inside of us. We have to be different. We have to make a difference in other life. You want to change things around you? You have to become the change that you want to see around you. When you become the change that you want to see around you, you will impact others' life. And that's what we need to do. We as Christians, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility. We represent Christ. Christ is not a, an schizophrenic God. He's not a double mind God. He doesn't say one thing now and another later. He stick to his word, his rectitude, his excellence, his goodness, his righteousness. And we are his inheritance. We are his children. So we have to walk in the same way. And that's what we need to do. And it's not easy, but we can do it. How? Through this. The word comes to change us. To change us. To change our heart. To change our ways. To change our character. To mold us completely. You want to be changed? Swim into the word of God. Dive into his word. Seek him, seek him as he was your obsidian that you cannot breathe if you don't see him, if you don't find him, if you have, don't have an encounter with him. <clears throat> I'm going to start faith ladder of virtue. This is a very powerful word. And it says, so devote yourself to lavishly supplementing your faith with goodness. What goodness? The goodness of God. The goodness of God. Because he's good all the time. And to goodness and understanding. And to understanding at the strength of self-control. Listen to this word. And to understanding at the strength of self-control. What is he giving us? He's giving us an spirit of self-control. How? Through him, not through our character. Because our character many, 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 many times is really messed up because it's been developed through the environment that we've been raised. And that environment has been totally dysfunctional. So our character cannot be used, honey. Our character has to be totally demolished, totally rebuilt. To what? To the character of Jesus Christ. We need to walk in his character. We need to be done, <laughs> reconstruct, edify through the character of Christ. There is no other way. <laughs> it says, and to self-control at patience, patience, endurance, patience. What is patience? It's a work in the character in which you're going to stay still. Psalm 46.10. Stay still and let God be God. He will build patience through that verse. Believe me. And you will sit down and wait on him. And through that period of waiting, he's going to build you completely from the inside out. He's going to change you. He's going to mold you. He's going to transform you. and He's going to heal you. Endurance, endurance, endurance. We need endurance. And that is done through what? Through self-control, through patience, to perseverance, to keep on pushing forward. He built us through that. How do you think a warrior is built? Many warriors are coming out of the ashes because they have gone through hell and back. And when you go through hell and back and you find Jesus 
and Jesus come into your life and he heal you and he transform your life and he give you beautiful arches. You become a warrior full of endurance, full of tenacity, full of perseverance. The hell can be burning around you and you will not move because you are planted in the rock and the rock is Jesus Christ. Because the hell that you are experiencing around you is now greater than the hell you experienced before. And that's why many warriors and the end time warriors are built out of the ashes because they have gone through hell and back in their life. And the hell that we're going to experience on these errors is nothing in comparison with the hell that we have experienced before. So nothing nothing will be able to move us. We will become married warriors of the living God in the name of Jesus. And I don't know who I'm speaking today, but I know that I'm speaking to many people that they are being totally broken and the Lord is rebuilding you for what is to come. The Lord is rebuilding you from the ashes and he's going to glory. His name is going to be totally glorified because those that knew you before, we look at you after he's done. And they're going to say, only Jesus Christ can be done that. There is no other way that that person can be totally changed and transformed for Jesus. And it's only through his goodness, through his love, that he's able to do this through all of us. And he says, and to self-control, our patience and endurance. And to patient endurance, our godliness. Why? Because when you realize that only through him and with him, you are able to get out of the ashes that you had experienced in your life and the hell that you had gone through. You know what? You want godliness. You want holiness. Your life will be totally consecrated to him. Totally consecrated to him and him alone. Because you know where he took you from. He says, and to godliness, add mercy toward your brothers and sisters. Yes, the Lord will work in your heart in a way that when you see others, you will see them with Jesus' eyes. It will be no judgment. It will be compassion and the love of Christ toward them. Because your heart will be totally transformed to the heart of the father and you will see your brothers and sisters with his heart with the love of his heart the compassion and the goodness that come out of his heart so your life will be totally changed and transformed it will be no judgment no criticism nothing will be in there it will be a pure love that run from the throne of his glory into your life and to mercy toward others, add on unending, add unending love. You will love the broken hearted. I many times I said to him, like two years and a half ago, I said to him, Lord, help me to reach the unreachable and love the unlovable. And I said this many times. And I have no word to say thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in my life. Because he has changed my heart completely. He has transformed my life completely. And it's only through him and with him that we are able to experience the true love of the Father. And love those that are in pain and totally destroyed by the devil. And being able to help them. And love them without no condition, even though they betray you and, 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 and hurt you. Because many times they hurt you. So you will be able to forgive them and keep on loving them and pray for them. And that's the best thing that we can experience in our life. When we get to that point in our life that we are able to love without no condition. It doesn't matter what the person has done to us. I always say it's between me and Jesus and my heart have to be totally, totally, totally cleansed and pure. And I challenge you today to get to that point in your life in which you love the unlovable and reach the unreachable for Jesus Christ. 
with the unending love of the Abba, the Father. It says, since these virtues are already planted deep within, and you possess them in an abundant supply. Because why? Why in an abundant supply? Because the Father fills you completely. And then you go back and you seek him again. And he will replenish you with more. And he will replenish you with more. You will never run empty again. Why? Because you go to the rivers of living waters. And you will never run empty he will replenish you. Whatever you give, he's going to give you more. You give, he going to give you more. And it will be an overflow running through him, from him, inside of you. And you will be able to become a river of living water to others as well as he is to you. He says, they will keep you from being inactive or fruitless in your pursuit of knowing Jesus Christ more intimately. That's right. Because you're going to keep on seeking him. Because once that you know him, once that you drink from the rivers of living water, you will never be thirsty again because you know where you need to run to. And you need to run to those rivers of living water. And you will be totally full by him. And he said, but if anyone lacks this, things, he is blind. You're blind if you don't have this. Constantly closing his eyes to the mysteries of our faith. And forgetting his innocence. For his past sins have been washed away. He washed away our sins. He threw them in the depths of the ocean. He will never pull them out again. Because he totally forgave us. Completely forgave us. For this reason, beloved ones, be eager to confirm and validate that God has invited you to salvation and claim you as his own. If you do not do the things, you will, if you do the things, you will never stumble. Listen to this. If you will do the things, you will never stumble. I've been crying. Thank you, Lord. You won't, excuse me, you will never stumble. As a result, the kingdom's gates will open wide to you as God choreograph, choreograph your triumphant entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Messiah. The presence of God is all over here. And I ask you, Lord, that you touch every single one of my brothers and sisters at the sound of my voice, that the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon every single one of them, and that you bring such a conviction in their heart, Lord, that they will run to you, Drinking from those rivers of living water that they will never, ever be thirsty again in the name of Jesus. Fill them completely, Holy Spirit. Fill them completely, Holy Spirit. That they will drink from the rivers of living water. And they will keep on going and being drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. They will never, ever be thirsty again. And they will be standing in the rock. That they will not move to the left or to the right but they will be standing in the rock and in that line that is a line the word of God is a straight. It doesn't bend, it doesn't fall. You cannot manipulate the word of God. He comes to destroy the works of the devil, the lights that we have been living for many years. Come to the rivers of living water. I challenge you today. To come to the rivers of living water. You will never be thirsty again. In the name of Jesus. I bless you this morning. And I glorify his holy name. And I ask the Holy Spirit to touch you. To change you. To transform you. To heal you completely. To mend your heart. And to knead your heart to the Father's heart. That you will feel what he feels. You will love the way he loved and that you will be totally changed and transformed forever in the name of Jesus. 
And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, I invite you today to surrender your life totally and completely to him in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer for, with me. Lord Jesus, I repent of every sin that I have committed in my life, sins of omission and commission, sins that I have committed with my eyes, with my ears, with my body language. Lord, forgive me. I repent. I renounce to every root of iniquities in my life. I know that you die in the cross for me and you came back to life on the third day and you are seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for my life. Today I break every covenant with my flesh, with the world, with Satan, with my words. Every curse that had come out of my lips, I break all covenants in the name of Jesus. And I open a new covenant with Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Come live in my heart. I surrender completely to you. I know that the day that I die, when I open up my eyes, I will be in your arms. In Jesus' name I pray. I bless you today and I glorify his holy name and him alone. In Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.